Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a what's in my school bag. As promised, and I even broke out like the good video camera, so you know, it's all good. And um, yeah, so um, this is my <coughs> school bag. Uh, I have absolutely no idea where I got it from. I believe it was like some random shop somewhere in Shibuya. Um, but it's just a backpack with like stars and it has a pocket here and two pockets on the side. And yeah, um, it's rather full of stuff but just because I'm like coming home from the weekend. But um, this is generally all the shit I have in my uh, school bag. So I'm um, starting in this side pocket. I have a suite that uh, the taxi man who drove me to school the other day gave me. But you know, don't take sweets from strangers so I haven't actually eaten it yet. Um, then I have my keys, um, so I've got my house key, um, this really cute keychain that my friend sent to me, um, lip gloss, this random blood donor thing which isn't even actually mine, <laughs> it's my mum's, my bike key, um, this keychain that my sister got me from Cambodia but the dog took the eye out of, um, this Smurfs key the thing that doesn't actually fit any of my keys but I just keep it on there anyway and then like this coca-cola thing yep so that's my keys and then I have my memory stick which is like a, a paw which is awesome that that was from my friend as well he is amazing and what else oh I have my ring my um, Tiffany's ring which I took off because I was playing sport the other day so I can put it back on now um, and then in the pocket on the other side, I have my phone, which I'm really sad because, oops, I cracked the screen. It's so sad. Can you see down there? But I also got a new cool phone case, which is kind of cool. Um, and then I have oh, my bus pass holder, which actually this is very out of date bus pass. I need to get a new one. Um, and my headphones. Oh. Hey, I have some picks and some random guitar picks, which I didn't even know I had. So there you go. This is why we do this. And then oh, in the front pocket, I keep loads of random stuff in here. So I have a lip balm. This is the um, Maybelline Baby Lips Lip Balm in Cherry Velvet, which is really good. Um, I keep my Sexiest Fantasies Va Va Voom perfume, which I think has sort of leaked because my bag really stinks of this. I've had that problem before. Um, I should really learn my lesson. I have some blotting sheets. They're always fun. I have some strepsils because I've been like suffering from a bad cough for like forever. Um, I have this cranberry and pomegranate hand cream which I absolutely love. It smells so good and um, I got it from Soup Drug. Then I have my, oh, my school ID which has to have the ugliest picture of me ever on it. Um, this was from year 10, so three years ago now, and they're still using it. Happy days. Uh, and then I have some tissues. This is a great thing about Japan, they give you free tissues all the time, like, people just hand these out, because they're like, full of adverts, but I'm not complaining. You should see the mess I'm making right now. So that's what's in the pockets, and then into the main compartment. Oh dear lordy, okay, oh, my foot's going to sleep. I have uh, a random pen my pencil case which is like ridiculously full of pens that most of them I don't even use um, half of my broken ruler it was one of those um, like twisty ones that you can make it a yeah it broke um, a uh, iPod charger but no cable cables at school um, half a pack of uh, rubbers uh, because uh, yesterday I had an exam and I didn't have a rubber so I went and bought some in the 100 yen shop. Um, some very uh, chewed up headphones courtesy of my dog, but they were free anyway so. Oh, and then I have, seriously I have too many books in here. So this is the one I'm kind of reading because I'm an A-level student so I should be reading this. Um, it's alright, you know, it's not my favourite. Then this is the book I'm reading for like, myself. And it's by the author, I don't know if it was sharp on camera, but it's by Michael Grant. And this is a really good series, so I'm currently on this one. 
and the only thing I don't like is the blue pages, they just bug me. I don't understand why people do that, it's really annoying. Um, then I have flashcards from my chemistry exam last night. Then I have the book we're doing in English at the moment, um, which is Paradise Lost by John Milton. Fun times. Then I have some gloves, which I've been looking for, so I'm glad I did this. Um, then I have my uh, chemistry textbook and my chemistry revision guide, complete with all the lovely post-its I put in and then didn't actually look at. Um, and then instead of like taking home all my folders because that would be a pain and they're all like really big folders, I just like have all these um, like file thingies which have like different compartments. So I have one here that has like the numbers one and then it kind of, I don't know if you can see, two, three, four, five. Um, and then this one, if you're prone to getting dizzy from, oh the 3D this doesn't show up on camera, that's so sad. This is like scarily 3D in real life, like is, I don't know if you can kind of tell. <sighs> it's so annoying because it's so 3D in real life, it like gives you a headache, it's so 3D. <clears throat> and then I have my homework diary, which I'll just take this post off the front. Um, is, of, if you know me, it has to be Pixar themed. I'm obsessed with Pixar, so it has like Toy Story, Finding Nemo, and Cars in it. And I'll just quickly go through this and kind of show you how I organise myself. Which isn't very well, just as a by the way. So in the front here I just have like these random post-its that kind of I keep. This is a one of my friend drew of a turtle. As you can see, we're all amazing artists in my <laughs> And then um, in this side pocket here I have some... Um, fishbowl post-its, some like coloured post-its and then like some random letters and stuff and like this polar bear, well it was supposed to be a polar bear that my friend drew um, and then it just has like the yearly calendar and then the monthly one well this is like weekly, yearly fan then it has monthly ones which I kind of occasionally write in, I like post-its and colours and stuff like that um, and then this is kind of how I keep myself organised. I like to use lots of post-its. Um, that was my half-term homework. See, it's very um, messy and disorganised. Um, and then in the back, we have more post-its, um, like random ones I like to keep. Uh, then my schedule and just other bits of random paper. And yeah, then it just has like note section where you can like write stuff and things. So I like that homework diary. Um, then I have my iPad in here. Um, I got this case from the Apple store and it's actually a really cool case because, hang on, <laughs> this is the iPad 2 by the way in case you were wondering. Um, there's like a little loop here and there's a, uh, I don't hook here. So what you do, you kind of fold it in on itself and then you hook the bit of elastic and then you have like a little stand so that's a really cool case um, I don't actually have much left in here, thank goodness then I have my calculator my name um, my wallet, I'm not really going to go through this now because there's nothing really of interest in it but I'm going to do a what's in my bag video rather than what's in my school bag video soon so if you want me to go through my wallet then this is a really old wallet because the wallet I was using the zip broke but as you can see the zip kind of broke on this one too but I've safety pinned it that's what you call DIY fixing um, and I'm kind of bored of zip wallets now I want like a new one so but I haven't had time some socks um, this isn't gross this is because look listen to me trying to justify myself I bike to school and I don't like biking in like my tights so I wear socks and then I put on like my pop socks when I get to school so that's why they're in there and of course they're very patriotic and then the last thing I have in here is my little makeup bagish thing um this I got from Superdrug and I believe it was like five pounds so it was a really good deal and it came with that hand cream it came with this so it was like super bargain and I just think it's really pretty um anyway so and it's a good size in here I have um, eyelash curler, um, this is a Maybelline, what is it, it's like one of their Watershine lipsticks but this is like a, um, a clear one, 
don't know if you can see that it doesn't really have any color to it it's more like a lip balm um, so I have that in there um, I have a blush this is the MUA blush in shade 2 um, yeah I keep that in there uh, I have my Wet n Wild black eyeliner. The only reason I use this one is just because it's so big, so I don't have to worry about it running out anytime soon. Um, I keep a little sample of my Pink Sugar perfume, which I love. And my sister got me like this little atomizer thing. It's a bit like the Traveler, just not sophisticated, but it has smiley faces on it, so it's awesome. Um, I have some gum in here. Now this gum kind of has like sentimental value to it which is why it's not opened and it's also like almost a year old um this is like cola and mint and my boyfriend is like obsessed with chewing gum and he gave this to me he got like a two pack and he gave me one like on our like second or third date last year <laughs> in february so i've just kept it because you know i don't really think i'd like cola and mint mainly not for sentimental reasons but i've just, just always been in there um i have another hand cream this is the um, OPI Skin Quenches, whatever it's called, and this is in Crisp Apple. Uh, these are okay, they're a bit greasy, they're a bit slimy, so I don't really use it that much. Um, I have some lavender oil, just because this stuff is amazing for like infections and things, even though I hate the smell of lavender. I have a tampon, that's always nice. Um, I have three lip glosses which is very excessive but they are all different colours so um, this is my lock and hold lip gloss that I've talked about before I love this lip gloss it smells so good then I have this Victoria Jackson lip gloss which I've had forever and it's just a really nice clear one the only reason I don't use it that much is because it absolutely reeks of coconut and I really don't like the smell of coconut that much <coughs> oh and then I have this this one I've had for years is actually I should really throw it away. This was like the first Mac product I ever got, and where did I? Get? I think I got it when I lived in Switzerland. So like it's five years old. It's that's absolutely disgusting. But this is um one of their lip clear color glosses, and it's in the color cello pink. But um it's not actually that. Oh my god! I just put way too much on my hand. It's not actually got that much color to it. If you can see it down there at the bottom. My back's starting to hurt in this position. Um, then I just have a uh, like a blush brush. This is from the brand. Oh, it's the Kirkland one. And then I have some scissors because seriously, these come in handy like scarily amounts. Some hair ties from Forever Twenty One, and my awesome blinged out tweezers. And ugh, lip gloss. Ugh. ugh. That is everything that was in my school bag. I hope you guys liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I should, fingers crossed, have some new videos up this weekend. So let me know in the comments down below what kind of videos you'd like.